Why is Infinity Set so unique? What makes track free be so much more than a track less solution in the market? This is a sticker. This is a technique we use for track less environment. So that we know that when we move the camera, the talent will always look at us. And we can also have a shadow on the floor. That is good. That's fine. As long as the talent doesn't move. But what happens if the talent moves? If the talent walks. Okay. Let's go to the input. Remove the chroma key so we can see the surface. And let's play the movie. See what happens. Due to perspective, the feet of the talent are going down and the scale of the talent is growing. This is wrong. But there's nothing we can do because this surface is in a fixed position. We would expect this surface to move back and forth to cope with that distance covered by the, by the talent. And we would like this talent to be bigger or smaller according to distance. But this is not the case. This is wrong. No track less solution can have walking talents. The talent must always be in a fixed position in track less environment. So how do we solve this? What can we do? We need to apply a new technique that is the track less environment. I'm going to activate the chroma key again and I'm going to move myself to a new position. Here we have another actor. This is actor two. Actor one here is a sticker. Actor two is a projection. This is a new technique that allows us to cope with all the problems we saw before. The first thing we need is probably shadow on the floor. So we apply the feet shade and just like we have here, we can have the feet shade to integrate a little bit more the talent. The next thing we can do is cast shadows. And there we are. We cast in shadows not only over the floor, the furniture behind, but over this chair. And the shape of the shadow is adapted beautifully here. We could even move the chair and see how that shadow is perfectly casted. And that it really is within the 3D space. What happens? if the talent walks. See this. The shadow is coming forward. The object is moving forward. Everything is perfectly integrated. The talent is now a 3D element within the set. And not only that, the talent now has a volume. It is a real 3D object. It's what we call the 3D presenter. See this. It has volume. There we are. We can make boxes out of it if you like. And it could keep walking. There we are. So, if we remove the volume, we could also say, okay, lovely, this works, but only in this position. That's not the case. We can have the talent perfectly integrated with the floor without a sliding. And as you can see, the camera may, may move back and forth. Not only this, but it can also, if I activate the free walk-in, we could also see this projection from any point of view. There we are. The talent is perfectly integrated as opposed to this actor here.